Hey, welcome back to Cincy Fish Dudes. This week, we're gonna catch a new species that I haven't went for this year, 2020. Um, so we want a new species. I want a carp, a majestic common carp. Um, so I'm gonna fish this waterway. It's shallow, about 92 degrees. I don't see a lot of blow ups today, but I know they're in this area. Um, so we're gonna throw some corn, maybe some boilies, get a couple rods in the water and um, see what we can catch. So while we're waiting, a couple other things you gotta keep in mind when you're trying to catch carp. They like corn, they like worms, boilies, some other things, uh, panko, bread, weedy balls, all that kind of stuff. But corn and worms, that'll get you it. You also have to be stealthy and cunning. These guys are smart and uh, they can feel your vibrations when you walk. They can see you and they'll not eat if they see you. Um, so you gotta be, you gotta play it cool. That's the only way I know how to play it. I'm not a big carp fisherman, so maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but um, basically I just do a weight with a couple beads so that when that weight slams up against this swivel, it doesn't um, wear down my line, eventually snare it, uh, pop it off. Um, the beads also um, do a little bit of a sound. And then I have this cloth um, hair rig. So this is how this setup works. You take this little tool, it has a tiny hook on it. You put about two to three pieces of corn on it. Take that little hook through the loop that has your fishing hook. You pull the corn down so that the loop goes through the corn. You take this tiny little piece of plastic on the other side that kind of holds the corn onto the, the loop. And then you chum the area with other corn. And then a carp will come up. It'll you know start eating the corn off the ground. It'll come upon your big pile of it. It'll suck it into its mouth. And then all of a sudden it will get that hook in the mouth. It'll freak out. And then you'll get that um, carp right on the lip. It would be extremely rare for you to accidentally gut hook them with this technique. So then you next want to find a spot where you see blow ups and carp activity. And then you want to start chumming the water. Of course you want to be quiet. Um, and then eventually they'll come over. And I'm just using a size eight hook um, hair rig. Um, and that's from Lure Road Fishing. 20 minutes later. Oh shit. One of my rods is down. Huh. Yeah, that's pulled down. I wonder if they got loose. They didn't drag it into the river. Let's see. One, two, three, go. Uh, what we got here? A stick? Wait a second. Is that a, we got one? Got it. Hey, new species for the year. New species. We got a carp. All right, I got a carp finally. A majestic, scaled, beautiful carp. On the corn on a hair rig. New species for 2020. All right. Haven't really targeted these much. I'm glad to finally get one. There we go. There we go. I'm also gonna use these things called boilies. Um, these are from Wicked Carp. Um, the Wicked Carp Company, these are made in the USA. And um, it's like freeze dried worms, I think, and all kinds of other mashed up stuff. And I just put it on that hook on the hair rig. We throw it out there. Carp uh, also like these too. And so do catfish. So we'll see what we can get. All right, this pole has a little bit of action. Let's see. Now this is a light pole. Let's see what we got on the boilie. This is only like a six, six pounder, six pound test I'm using, fluorocarbon.
trying to get it where he's not going to get stuck up on any sticks or branches. What we got here? Ah, oh, dang it. Soft shell turtle. Soft shell turtle. All right, buddy, I got to get the pliers. So you want to be careful with soft shell turtles. They can bite. This one tried to bite me about 35 times. Got it. Go ahead, buddy. Got the hook out. <laughs> a little quiet at this spot, so I'm going to uh, jump on the trail, move uh, up the river a little bit. Uh, there's some shady, deeper areas where I'll try for a little bit, but I'm getting hungry. Um, while I walk, why don't you check out this uh, smallmouth I caught um, about a mile up the river here. Here we go. Come on. Uh, just a tiny little, tiny little smallie. Tiny little smallie to start the afternoon. All right, buddy. Little guy. Got a little blood on his lip. Other than that, I think he's gonna be okay. So the wife just called and uh, Gremlins is uh, playing at the drive-in. So I'm gonna take the family to see that tonight. So I'm gonna pack up here and head on home. Hey, we at least we got one. We got one. We targeted the carp and we got one. That's better than nothing. Have a good one. Okay, next day. It rained all night, uh, most of the morning. So it's gonna be a little faster, a little muddier, but a little cooler. Um, I'm not gonna do the hair rig today. I'm gonna have pretty much the same setup. I'm gonna do a uh, size four hook, um, snelled hooks on that uh, four carbon leader. And then um, we'll go with some big fat night crawlers. Okay, I wanna try to be somewhat stealthy without them seeing me up here. And without falling and sliding all the way down into this muddy river. Like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the first person GoPro footage of the fight with this next channel cat was corrupted, so we have to make do. All right, we got a channel cat. We got a channel cat. We're on. While I was catching that carp, that catfish, I noticed my bobber is under. I'm getting a little bit of movement on this rock. I think I got something here. I might have got another catfish. I did not like another. All right. Feel like he's tangled up into some oh there there's something here oh, <laughs> oh. decisions 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 Okay, we are on evening three. Um, so far, I, I believe we have a, um, a carp, catfish, 
a rock bass. Let's go for a fourth or fifth species. Hey, don't forget about that little smallmouth. I think we got a fish on. I think we got a fish on. Holy moly, we have a big fish. A decent fish. What we get? Yeah, we got our second common carp. Oh, that's a drum. That's a drum. Hey, that's a pretty looking drum. I never usually get drums in this particular area. Got you on a worm, don't I, boy? Don't I, sir? Got you on a worm. All right. Okay, we found our fifth species with the freshwater drum. Got some daylight left. I'm not sure how, how long I want to stay underneath the bridge tonight, but uh, let's see what else we can get in there. Neil, I, I'm on. Oh, I'm on. I don't know what it is. Hey, Sensi Fish Dudes, we got the other Sensi Fish Dude right there on FaceTime. He's feeding his face at home. Whoa. I think it's a big cat. I'm at the. Big cat. Bridge underneath O'Bannon Creek, the one that we walked over. Hey, Neil. Yep. This might be a new species. This might be a flathead. I can't tell. Let me see. That might be a flathead. Give me a sec. I'm going to take some pictures. You're on the O'Bannon Creek right now? You know, this bridge part. I'll call you right back, okay? Or I mean, I'll text you or whatever. All right, we got a catfish. Easy, easy. Don't get us with those hooks. Let's see how much you're weighing today. Alright, got a three pound cat on the worm at, we're July 23rd and we caught that at about, just about 9 o'clock, 8.45. So, the carp and the catfish the flathead catfish are both new species for 2020. So we'll add it to the list. The list is down there in the description. Um, so basically this week I've been fishing the tributaries of the Little Miami River and um, I've changed up my game a little bit, doing stuff I usually don't do and doing pretty well with the species. So uh, that'll wrap it up for this week. Uh, we'll see you again next Thursday. Hey, if you like what you saw in this video and you want to see more, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like, or comment down below. We want to hear back from you guys.